Calibration for your Vic Gardner micro haze. Before use, the measuring unit must be calibrated. A new calibration is required particularly in the event of temperature changes. For the calibration, the unit is provided with two holders, one of which contains a black glass standard for gloss calibration, while the other contains a white ceramic standard for haze calibration. Make sure before the calibration that the standards are clean and without scratches. To calibrate the unit, push it into the holder with the black glass standard until the stop, as shown. Now switch on the unit using the mode button. Calibration gloss appears in the display. The arrow indicates that the calibration procedure will be performed by pressing the operate button. First, the gloss calibration is performed. Please ensure that the displayed values correspond to those printed on the calibration standard to avoid confusion of standards or unintended change of calibration values. Gloss calibration is completed after approximately 3 seconds and the haze calibration appears in the display. You can normally exit this right now because haze calibration does not need to be completed every time you make a measurement, but for this case we'll show you how to do both. Um, to do so, remove the measuring unit from the gloss holder and insert it into the haze holder. Start the calibration by pressing the operate button. Please ensure in this case as well as that the displayed values correspond to those printed in the protective holder. After approximately three seconds, the calibration is completed and the measuring unit can be removed from the holder to perform measurements. Calibration standards. Calibration with a dirty or damaged standard will seriously impair the accuracy of the measurements. The standard is very sensitive and must be protected from damage and dirt. You should avoid touching its surface. Even when the calibration standard is handled carefully, its value can be altered or by environmental influences over the course of time. It is thus advisable to check the instrument against an additional reference standard at regular intervals. You should also have the standards checked by manufacturer at yearly intervals. Secondary standard. In order to verify the accuracy of me the measuring means, measurements should be made in regular intervals using a separate secondary standard. To do so, place the measurement unit into the guide for the standard holder so that the markings on the unit and the standard coincide. Make sure the unit is properly seated. Now perform the measurement as described. The measured value displayed must not deviate from the value printed on the standard by more than a maximum of one unit. Otherwise, check whether the gloss standard in the holder is set or the secondary standard is dirty. If cleaning the standard and another calibration do not remedy the problem, please contact customer service. Cleaning the standards. The measuring accuracy is considerably reduced when using dirty or damaged standards. As the standard surfaces are very sensitive, cleaning must be affected with utmost care. For this purpose, use a new lint-free cloth, especially dust-free paper for cleaning lenses, and an impregnated cloth such as provided with the unit. When cleaning, exert only slight pressure to make sure that no coarse particles that might damage the surface are stick to the cloth. Acetone may be used in case of severe con contamination. Apply as much liquid as possible to the standard and remove it with the help of a new lint-free cloth. Exact calibration is only possible with perfect standards. If the condition on the standard should appear doubtful to you on the basis of a visual inspection or a measurement error, we will be glad to check the standards. Changing calibration values. The values of the supplied calibration standards are stored in the measurement unit. When automatically calibrating, this data is allocated to the respective standard in the holder. In some cases, it may become necessary to enter the data for a new calibration standard. This might be the case if, for example, the standard used so far is damaged or scratched. Only use original standards of the manufacturer to ensure, ensure exact calibration. The function change calibration values serves to enter new calibration values. To calibrate the unit, push it into the holder until the stop. Now switch on the unit using the mode button by actuating the mode button several times. Skip calibration until change cal values appears. To protect data against un intentional changes, actuate the button operate five times to switch into the change routine. Change cal value 20 is now displayed. By pressing operate again, this currently stored calibrating value for 20 degrees is displayed, the first digit being marked by an arrow. Use the button operate to clinically, cyclically change the marked digit. Use the button mode to confirm the marked digit. The arrow goes to the next digit. After having confirmed the last digit, the new value will be displayed. By pressing operate, the value is stored. However, if the value is not stored, for example, if it is not correct, actuate mode can, instead of operate can keep the former value. In both cases, change cal values, hlint is now displayed. 
The values for the new Hayes holder white ceramic standard are entered in the same way as the 20 degree value. First, the Hayes value, H lin, is entered, and then the brightness value, Y. As you can see, the mode change cal values for the individual values can be skipped by pressing the mode button. New start. In case you want to restart the changing routine because of an incorrect entry, wait until the device switches off automatically, then start again. After having successfully completed the new entry of calibration values, the measuring unit must be calibrated with the new standard.